Let's get low. Oh, wow. I should have given you a trigger warning, but it's too late. So, sorry. So today we're going to be watching Cinderella 2021. Is this movie really necessary? Debatable. Personally, I obviously haven't seen it yet, but I don't think so. There's been so many Cinderella movies at this point in time that it's just overdone. And with what we have, this movie would have to be like topping everything else. They've put themselves in an awkward position. I'm watching this movie so you don't have to. You're welcome. I'll go through the pain. Hopefully it's not too bad. It can't be as bad as it seems. I've seen some tweets about it. I've seen some like spoiler free analysis and videos. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. It means the world to me. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my socials. Instagram, Twitter and Letterboxd. Instagram and Letterboxd are both at Rebecca Rose with an X over the first D and Twitter is at Rebecca Rose with an X over the second D. If for some random reason you do want to torture yourself more, the extended cut of this reaction will be available on my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Rebecca Rose. I wonder if Camila will sing straight notes. I don't think the girl has the ability to not do a run after every sentence, but we'll see. Maybe she'll prove me wrong. This is like girl boss Cinderella, isn't it? I don't think it's going to go well. Whenever Hollywood tries to girl boss their way in a movie, they always just mess it up. They are so detached. Citizens moved to the same beat. Oh my god, what is that move? Oh, that's bad. That's already bad. Oh no, what was that? Oh no, it looked like they were being electrocuted. Oh no, why would you make them do that? Oh god, I'm sorry. This song so far sounds bad. The Rhythm Nation. That feels like a kids bop kind of song. Oh. Looking for a better way. Oh, the wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazeem. And the self-absorbed Narissa, she cray. Oh, that's kind of cringy. That's kind of cringy. Ooh, Cinderella. More like Cringerella. Mm. I know this movie's gonna be painful. If we keep going like this first number, it's not gonna be good. Oh, girl is gonna pull out some vocal runs, isn't she? As soon as she wakes up. To the sky. There we go. Ready, a little run. This is going to be a painful hour and 50. Like, I haven't come here to hate this movie. I was ready to give it the benefit of the doubt. But opening the movie of this number sequence, I'm confused. Oh, it sounds like they're being tortured. Get there. I don't think she's capable of not doing a vocal run. Camila has a nice voice. However... Her voice is something that's like an acquired taste with the most respect I can, you know, I'm not trying to be rude, but it is an acquired taste. And I don't know if it's a voice I can personally listen to for an hour and a half. Like her singing voice, not her speaking voice. You could be so pretty if you took even a second to comb that hair of yours. She's like, girl boss, I don't need to comb my hair. So this song, not song, this movie isn't just all original songs, it's also like covers. I've seen a lot of people comparing it to Glee. One of those is obviously Trin, legend. I can see that now, because if they are doing like a lot of covers in this movie, that makes sense. I mean, this second number's working better than the first, and it's more simple. I mean, I'll give it to Camila. Her voice sounds nice on this song. I don't hate this. Point for Cinderella. Far off lands, I am just too busy. Cinderella is from this town or general region. Why is everyone else British and she's the only one with an American accent? What's that about? Could Girlie just not do a British accent? Or were they like, no one's gonna notice? I've noticed. It's not a big bother or a big deal, but still, it's a bit funny that like, the whole town's like English accent speaking. And then there's just Cinderella, girl boss. I mean, whilst this is still bad in my eyes so far, like it's, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. I also give this movie the benefit of the doubt because its target audience probably is like 12 to 14 year olds 
or like even nine to 14 year olds and I'm definitely not that demographic anymore so it is gonna go over my head quite a bit so I get it younger kids might really love this and that's fine but I feel nothing for these women it's crazy to think I'm actually gonna fall in love with one of them um well he might have another question in his mind then to your sister oh my god are the warblers here I think it's the warblers dancing at these things is so mannered and formal we look like fools oh are they gonna have like a break dance later they're gonna have like a dance off a dance battle that's gonna happen i bet it's gonna happen nothing the ball was a good idea that's probably my favorite part of the movie so far that one guy wow he may have saved this movie can anybody find me oh no no i'm putting this song out there oh my god everyone's calling this a glee episode wasn't wrong i think the covers kind of saved this movie so far i think anyone who likes glee could potentially maybe five percent like this i'm maybe speaking early it's been like 15 minutes but part of me is intrigued to see what other songs they cover don't shoot me on sight. I don't hate this. I didn't think I'd say that. Please be cheesy and say he sees Cinderella in the crowd. Get off my dad! Oh, he's like her. She's quirky. She's different. She's not like the others. Peasants shall be pardoned by the king. Get! Oh no, not him laughing at the quirky girl. He didn't think that was funny. It wasn't funny. He shouldn't have found it funny. He's down bad. And he still decides it's time to like go for a little run. Girlie out here disrespects your like family statue. And you decide, oh, now's the time for a run. Oh no. Oh. You're literally not even going to let me have a seat at the table. I don't make up the rules. I'm just the king. I would have yeeted that chair at my dad if he said that. It would have flown across the room like we were in WWE. Oh, she's, she's beautiful. She's witty she's fearless yeah she went on my dad's father's statue she's fearless she's different she's quirky hollywood they just never hit the mark do they the bats. well i'm the prince's best friend and i say that yours is the one with the bats his best friend looks like he's about 20 years older than mr prince here i don't even know how old he's supposed to be but he's got to be like 20 or under she does not approve of pets Girlie, you don't have pets, you have bugs and pests. She is lonely. Some boys kiss me. Okay, and has a kind of classic, but I think if Idina's singing, I'm just gonna shut up and say it's amazing because she deserves that, okay? She's reached that level. If he starts dancing, that'll be like the cherry on top of the cake. Oh, he did kind of join in. I'm sorry, that head bandana is not disguising the fact that he is the prince. Like, he's just wearing an accessory. I don't suddenly look like a completely different person when I put a hairband on. I still look the same. The dress, I'll buy it. Is this pity? Girlie, I think she needs to go to Specsavers. How does she not know this is the prince? Everyone's gonna know that royal family. You cannot tell me no one in this town square recognises the prince. He's standing right there with a bandana on his head. Suddenly it's the Hannah Montana effect. If she keeps scribbling that hard, like, she's gonna rip this paper. Oh, that sounded off. That sounded off. I don't think anything can save her from that. That run, it was just a big fat no. I get it runs like personal preference, but so far I feel as if this movie has had one too many runs. Cause I think at this point in time, it's kind of been at the end of every sentence, especially from Camila. And I get it, that's her style and it works for her clearly, but it's a lot. Oh, Camila was fighting for her life to keep that note straight. I just know that for a fact. Yeah, girl boss, she can box. I spent weeks making this dress so that I could show women from all over the world that I- <gasps> There comes the distraction. Ooh. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, it's not funny. Okay, but I am impressed by her acting. I had very low expectations because she is a singer going into an acting role and that can go very wrong. But you know what? She's held herself down here. She's doing well. Ooh, her neck is really just popping here, isn't it? Her neck muscles are fighting for their life. Is the butterfly her fairy godmother? Or godfather, I think they've gone with? It is! <laughs> Imagine if caterpillars started to just like transform into people. You can't wear that to the ball. <laughs> Peasant. I know. You said you wanted to be a businesswoman. Business women can still wear dresses. Let's not get that mixed up. I feel like so much of girl boss is mixed up in like women acting like men. It's like you can still be feminine and be a girl boss. Okay. This transformation isn't ugly. It's kind of good. It's a little bit mesmerizing. Okay, I see what they're doing here. <laughs> I feel like after the transformation the dress is a tad underwhelming like as she said it is a gorgeous dress but the transformation was so exaggerated and intense that i expect like the cinderella ball gown from the disney movie like the live action one because that one was stunning this one's pretty and it's more modern i guess but after all of those leaves swirled around her i i don't know maybe i'm being harsh it's a pretty dress i'll shut up you need footmen. We don't need these footmen. I promise you, we don't need these footmen. Where's my tail? I, I can't balance without my tail. Your James Corden's acting in movies just isn't it. The way of acting he does works in his skits. It definitely works in his skits, even if people think it's annoying. But in movies, it just doesn't translate very well. It could just seem a bit obnoxious sometimes. Whoa. There she goes. Her runs again. Please release her from the prison she's stuck in. Hey, but you can truly be not you but me. Oh, no. Why did that kind of fit him so perfectly, though? <sighs> this film was a lot more bearable without James Corden being in it. <laughs> like, cool voice and all, but it felt like we were on the voice and he was really trying his hardest to get one of them to turn their chairs oh my god did they have a dance off dance battle yeah. <gasps> they might what a man, what a man. oh my jesus i don't know there seems like something quite intriguing about a modernese song and modern dance in like ball gowns and believe me y'all he's worth it it's a little bit cringy there. there's a little bit of cringe here I think at this point in the movie, I've just accepted it's going to be cringy. I think I want to have your baby. Oh no, that was... That just topped it all off. Oh, Seven Nation Army now. Okay. The men's response. He's not going to war with these women. There is something though really messy about this movie. It feels like at one point they just decided we don't care anymore. Oh wow, they said mash up. This truly is just a bigly episode. Okay, I'm not mad about the mash up. I just relieved myself and you are not gonna believe how it happens. Through the front tail, we know. No. Oh, not them describing it as a front tail. <coughs> Where did you get that dress? I was, I, I did, I could, I want to. She really fumbled the bag. Well done, Fumbarella. Well done. He's not exactly getting any younger. <laughs> oh, she's clumsy. She's different. Haha, <laughs> she's quirky. He's found his fierce leading lady. I'm surprised she didn't slap him for winking at her. M maybe would you like to dance? Please just let them dance normally. Imagine if they start breaking it down and doing like the robot on the dance floor. Is this Ed Sheeran's perfect? Found the love. It is so true, it's perfect. They got real intense real fast, didn't they? They've known each other for literally five minutes. Well, I found a boy. I sure meant this is just quaking, I know it. <laughs> so in love. Oh, they can't be talking about love. 
five minutes you've had together, five minutes. Care to talk alone somewhere? Lead the way. I feel as if it would look a bit sus if you just saw them do have that romantic moment and then just like rush off, you know? It's a bit suspicious, just a tad. Humans can be so loud. Especially you, James, especially you. Else in this world I'd rather be with than you. Robert, stop. <laughs> Robert. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like that's the first time I've heard his name. Robert. Sounds like a frog. Robert. Is he gonna sing to like try and win her back? I found the love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't real. It's the same energy as in high school musical where Troy would like not want to sing anymore and then Gabriella would just go like oh, and he'd be They're about to do it on the 2,000 year old royal floor. Don't look at me! Don't look at me! I don't want to look at you. If he sniffed it, that would have been a really big red flag. Especially since I'm maybe in love with him. Love? They're so quick. I never felt what I felt last night before. That was an adrenaline rush, girly. Mother just gets carried away. I know I've been hard on you. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but this evil stepmama isn't the worst that I've seen. She just doesn't really have all that flair. Like she has the look, but the payoff isn't as intense. Like I've kind of felt like she's just been a really strict, rude mum in this movie, but she's been nowhere near like evil. There I was, two children, a loving husband. He believed real wives didn't act so frivolously. Well, then he wasn't really a loving husband, was he now? I would rather die. I don't care. <laughs> Not her adding some flair after she just said, I'd rather die. Wow, parent of the year. Maybe I spoke too soon. Not the Handmaid's rocking out. Ah! Imagine if that was like season four of The Handmaid's Tale. I'm ready. Is Miss Cinderella here gonna run away? She's gonna run away. I mean, good for you as Olivia Rodrigo would say, but this movie has way too many vocal runs. It's like they were at the Olympics for vocal gymnastics. If that was the category they were going for, they would definitely win. <laughs> she said you disgust me. <laughs> oh, there was something quite satisfying in that. I think this movie would be complete if they did like a One Direction cover of like Where Do Broken Hearts Go? Nothing else matters. If they start singing Metallica, imagine, imagine. I kind of want to see that though. Please deliver. Although I know there's like a one in ten chance. I'm not getting Nothing Else Matters. It was wishful thinking. Oh my goodness, is Gally gonna throw herself from the chariot? Oh, she is literally yeeting herself off. Okay, go boss. She's so fierce. Oh yeah, I forgot she used to go meet Queenie. Is he gonna deliver her to the queen? I mean, that'd kind of be iconic. <laughs> Imagine if this movie ends because he like runs her over with the horse. Ah. I didn't realize our oh, prince here was a rebel. Look at that little earring he's got. I've only just caught on. Wow, he's different and quirky too. Yay, okay, good for them. Yeah, spread some bacteria. That was the most romantic moment of my life. Hmm, <laughs> Sean, sit down. I shall be king. Eh, queen. He said feminism. Let's get up. Oh no, okay, I can stand one last number oh my god this is the one where james corden thrusted into the air Let's get those poor people that day i would sue there is something about the courtyard dance scenes that are cursed though <laughs> is that the girl that was like a really good drama that challenged like dave Grohl? is that her she got a little cameo no, no. hmm they just have like a little vocal battle Oh, come on, let's just end it. I get agitated when these bad movies get so close to the end but refuse to let go. It's like they're just laughing in your face that they're still going. 
I'm kind of confused though. Wasn't the whole point of this movie, Cinderella was going on about how she doesn't need love? And one of the literal last lines of this movie was like, love will save the day. I don't know, I don't know. Like she, did she get her shop? I thought she wanted to get like her little shop to sell her dresses. She didn't get the shop, but whatever. Girl boss, kind of, sure, sure. I am glad it's over. But let's be honest, I don't think the one out of 10 star reviews are fair. Like, I don't think it's that bad. Sure, it's bad, but I think the highest rating you give is like a five and the worst, sure, is a one. But I saw so many one out of 10 reviews on IMDb. Like, that was harsh. That was really harsh. I'll give it to Camila. Her acting is way better than I thought it would be for like a singer who's doing her first acting role in like a really big movie as well. So props to her. It was good. Her singing, it was Camila. Yeah, um, James Corden. Idina Menzel, legend, she's in it, so can't really hate her for that. I kind of liked well that the stepmom wasn't this really dramatic evil force. But yeah, um, that's the end of the girl boss Cinderella. I am done with the movie, thank God. And now I am gonna enjoy my life, so hopefully you can too after enduring this. I'm tired of hearing the sound of my voice and I'm sure you're tired of hearing the sound of my voice, so I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and adios. Thank you.